Hi everyone, welcome back to episode 16 of course, Party of the Shadows. Uh, we're nearing the three quarters mark for our uh, little playthrough thing. So, this episode we're going to start on chapter 7 Tooth, and it is the last one that we can play right now because chapter 8 has some special unlocking requirements, and I'm not sure if I got all of the prerequisites. So, after this chapter is done, I'm probably going to just go back and. Um, Compile a maybe a sort of thingy on uh, a walkthrough on how to get chapter 8, and then after that, we'll start on chapter 8 because I don't think I got all the prerequisites, especially because you need bad ends. So uh, let's get into this then. Tooth chapter 7. Uh, I don't know where this is going to take me. I do have a walkthrough that I use, but it's spoiler free, so I don't know what happens precisely. They, it just tells me to go here and do that. So, uh, Byakudan Byaka Senior High School, Student Council Room, 4.30pm. Oh, interesting. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Fukurai doesn't have the best of memories. Noted. She actually kicked him. Wow. <笑><笑><笑><笑> この部屋の徹底掃除だよ。見てこれ。何これ。片付けろっつうの。何この玉。玉入れのやつじゃん。体育祭いつだったよ。It's full of walls. Fukura, I think you uh you left your balls somewhere uh and uh let's 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 just let's just carry on and not そういえばそんなことを言っていたか。いっぱい。忘れてたでしょ。いや、記憶はしてた。僕も見つきの意向には。普通喋る。ウェイ、わ。え、ペンソルレレンソンマラクネーションソンポンドミエンスカ。ああ、忘れてたさ。俺だって色
Okay, class two four after school. Right, okay. Um two four. Oh, Toko. Oh yeah. Um. Oh, it doesn't finish. Ah. Uh, my name is Toko Kirisaki. Okay, she was the one that sort of went cray cray at, in uh, chapter three. So we're 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 doing her bit now. That came out wrong. I've been waffling for quite some time on whether or not to say anything, but finally I decided to bite the bullet and ask his best friend Kurosaki. Like, ask him out? Or... Oh god, why do you want that guy? Oh my god, I didn't, I didn't feel like today was going to be as hot as the other days of this week, but then... Uh, it's high 20C all around this week and next week, and I'm so not used to it. Okay. But why the hell do you want Yuya? Like that that's Kizami in case you don't know. So Kizami Yuya. And he's the guy that went that we saw like go nuts. He's the mentally deranged guy who belongs in an asylum last episode. Uh last chapter, last episode. Sa same thing at this point. But yeah. So why? Oh yeah? I see my Frida to know. I'd be severely surprised if he wasn't single right now. You're gonna regret that for the rest of your life. Oh, it's a waste of your. Ah, it's not. Oh, no, 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 that's just everyone sees him as mysterious and they all want him, but he's actually a douchebag. So, yeah. So, yeah. Image and what he actually does are two completely different things, and you shouldn't mix them up, Toko. I think you should take his friend's advice on this bit. Oh. Mm. This is Kensuke Kurosaki who known Yu Yakizumi aka the boy I like pretty much all his life. I figured I'd come to him for for all the information I needed in my conquest, since he was pretty much guaranteed to know Yu Yu's dating history. Mm, it's a conquest now, is it? And so far things 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 seem to be going really well. I mean not only did I confirm Yu Yu wasn't seeing anyone, but I got his best friend's breast that Best friend's blessing too. Wow, tongue twister. Almost. And confirmed that he really wasn't the showy ob obnoxious cool guy type. No, he's the showy obnoxious siscon I wanna kill you type. <laughs> that suited me just fine. <laughs> Kurosaki! Hora! Oh, you're gonna see. Oh. Kurosaki was understandably rather startled by the extraordinarily agitated female voice that suddenly rang out from behind his head. But that's Hellgirl Mitsuki for you. <laughs> oh, that's her nickname, okay. She was standing in the classroom doorway, arms folded across her chest, looking like some angry deity about to cast judgement down upon the world. And she had that deadly gleam in her eyes, the one that could fell the mightiest warrior before he even had a chance to draw his sword. Cause you know lasers are more OP than guns. It's like, why'd you bring a sword to a laser fight, huh? Today is the training exam. So you should prepare for it. Yeah, I said today was a test. So you should be prepared. Oh, you're not going to 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 be prepared. More important than your club. Yep. Yep, this is definitely Hellgirl's work. Uh, all the complexion was gone from Fukuro's face. He was a man with a demon on his back. <laughs> Whip at the ready, fully prepared to bring divine punishment upon all, all who opposed her. He was right. It was easier just to give in. <laughs> oh, so Toko's not the part of the student uh, union thing, student council thing. It's, um, Kirisaki, who's 
I should be getting screwed. Mm. Oh, you're getting sucked in too. Don't do it. <laughs> Misuki then grabbed the nape of Kurosaki's neck and began dragging him out of the door in a decidedly painful looking manner. I don't know, maybe he enjoys it. You never know. Don't assume that. He was like a teary eyed chick caught in the talons of a bird of prey, struggling in vain as he was being carried off to meet his grisly end. <laughs> being torn to shreds by her babies. By which I mean the cleaning tools. Oh, what? Wait. I just love watching those boys interact with Hogo and Mitsuki. I couldn't wait to see more. I didn't even care that I had to clean in order to do it. Okay. I was a volunteer after all, so I was pretty much off the hook here. I could, I could follow them at my own place. Own pace. Uh, no dragging for me. Yay. As soon as we left the classroom, though, we ran into you. Yeah. Oh. Okay, or rather, I did, as in, I literally ran into him. I wasn't watching where I was going and wound up slamming into him so hard that I fell over. You know, classic anime stuff that happens. Running around the corner, girl runs into the boy of her dreams, falls over on the floor. Boy is meant to pick her up and in that moment where, with the hands outstretched, uh, that's when she apparently is meant to fall for him. I think that's how it goes. Immediately, he reached out his hand to help me up and asked if I was alright. Now that's a white knight if, I, if, if ever I'm seen. Yep, that's how it goes. That's definitely how it goes. What a fun evening this would be. I imagine it ending with me in bed dreaming of Yuya's perfect face inching ever closer to mine. But instead, she would have a knife and it would be at your face trying to cut you. And then he'd probably lower it to your neck and go. Because that's Yuya. That's Kizami. That's twisted Kizami. And oh, what's this? <laughs> So that's not Toko, that's um, Toko's friend, whatever. That's Emi, yeah. Okay, so I assume what happened is, after the cleaning they did that charm and then they got here and stuff went weird. So why is Yuya here then? Why is Kizami here? Why is Twisted Kizami here? Yeah. Here we go. Oh, that's a ghost hand. Or maybe that's a normal hand. Maybe that's Sashiko's hand. I don't. I don't know. Oh boy. Chapter seven. Okay, so they're still together at this point, they haven't been split up. Actually no, they wouldn't be split up the moment they came in here, so it's Toko, Emi and at least a couple of other people. Oh, we're actually playing. Okay, uh I'm sure I'm sure this isn't gonna give me a bad end or anything. The store door seems to be stuck and absolutely will not open anymore. But I was just in there. Maybe the lock somehow got jammed when I left. Oh, that's not the progress button. I was pressing X instead of the pro progress button. Even with the knob turned on at full blast, there's no water coming through these pipes anymore. Okay, so I guess we have to just go down. Oh, what happened to you? Oh my god. Oh my god. Kizami, you can do other things rather than kill people? Shock. So I guess this is uh this is Shimada and um this is obviously Kizami Kizami because uh we've seen him so many times. That's the guy who got injured, and that's the other guy who spoke first, whose name I forgot. <laughs> We're in an old-fashioned, rundown, and probably condemned school building. None of us knew how we got here, not even where here, not even where here was. 
I can answer both of those questions for you, but you probably won't hear me and it'll be useless anyway. I just emerged from the girls' room with Emmy after losing my lunch, where Yuya, Okawa, Katayama, and Shimada were waiting. The whole hallway was an absolute bloodbath after what had happened. Poor Katayama, poor Katayama walked into some kind of booby trap and half his leg was lopped off from the knee down. It looked excru excruciating. I'll bet you anything that was one of Sachiko's bear traps. Okay, how is somebody supposed to handle a situation like this? Why did, why did this have to happen at all? You should calm down, that way your heart it doesn't beat as fast and the, the less your heart beats, the less blood gets um, sent out of your exposed vein. And arteries. You stepping up to me, punk? You stepping? <laughs> this is what tagging along with Mitsuki and the others got me. I thought it was going to be a laughing riot, and at first it was great. We all went to the student council room where we met up with Katayama, Shimada, and Emi and started cleaning and goofing around. And then when we were done, Emi suggested we all try out this new charm and discover, uh, she discovered on the internet. She's nuts for that kind of stuff. Okay, so Emi is like the Ayumi equivalent of the school and um, you guys are basically screwed. Yeah, she took out this simple white paper doll and we were all kind of fascinated. So we did as we were instructed, and then suddenly everything went dark. There was a violent shaking, and then we were here in this old schoolhouse. No explanation, just here. With a little ghost girl and a constipated old Greta guy with a big hammer waiting to slash your head in. Who may or may not be behind you. I wouldn't advise turning around at this point. Oh, you know, we can just leave him here to die, that would be okay. That, that doesn't look okay, alternative. Alter alternative. It's not like he's a real person or anything. Okay, I'm playing matter. Screw this. That works. Yuya. Yuya. I love you. Oh, no, let's, let's not go there. Yuya was so kind. Uh, you can always count on boys in times like these. Ready. Ready. We all know that's just, that's just a facade. Still, there was a potential problem with this course of action. Toko, why don't you go ahead and like scout for traps for us, huh? And uh, you know, bring a stick so it gets disabled. だから、まずは外までの道の安全を確保してから片山君を連れに戻ってきた方がいいと思うんだ。うん、賛成だ。オッケー。そ、そっか。So, Okawa was in a state of absolute panic. He just kept muttering to himself at Karayama's side. The two of them had, al had always been uh, extremely close. It feels like I'm reading tongues just all over the place. I think my brain's moving too fast, my mouth can't keep up, and... So what's going on? Anyway, it's only natural he'd be worried, though his concern kind of bordered on obsession. But... Because that is the power of Sachiko's awesome bear traps. Now yours for five ninety nine. Oof. <laughs> she might have practically spit his answer at her. Oh, I hate people like that. Sure, he had a pretty face. That's basically all he had though. People like him pose as models in men's journals, but they're not good for much else. He's, he's got a lot of girls too, but I'm not one of them. 
I can never get past this awful attitude. It's such a huge turn off for me when guys act that way. Not that I don't admire speaking with confidence and force, I try to do it myself whenever I can. But there's a difference between speaking forcibly and speaking in a way that belittles others. Shimino is basically just cold and uncaring. Seriously? Oh my god. Well, we are playing as her, so... As the main character, she would be getting the brunt of all the action, unfortunately. Oh, and that's the twisted sidekick. And the main character's uh, love interest. Of course, uh, the game would take such a turn. What a difference. Like, night and day, kind, thoughtful people like him don't make flippant remarks. They just man up and get stuff done. Maybe he, maybe this ha that, no, maybe this is how he's like um, in the in the real world right now. No, but he was twisted from like a young age. So maybe he grew up, maybe he got over it. And then the darkening influenced him and he got twisted again. That's the best explanation that I can think of for this guy. Right, okay. I was crushing on him harder than ever, because now, not only did I think he was both cool and hot, I also gained a ton more respect for him. Paradoxical temperatures. You know, they all feel the same way. If, if it's like way too cold or way too hot, then uh, it's gonna feel the same, I think. That's why you get cold burns. Dead silence, no volunteers, huh? Well, I have the perfect volunteer for you, or rather, sacrifice, or rather, tribute. Everybody just looked at one another, then looked away as if they were ashamed of themselves. He was frantically shifting his gaze from one person to another. I'd never seen him so on edge before. Finally, the silence was broken by a loud, shrill male voice. Definitely not him I would have picked. Hey, we saw that coming. Stop mumbling, I can't hear you, okay? Even with the volume not completely turned up, but half turned up, I still can't hear you. Oof. Stop mumbling. Mm -hmm. Was I scared? You bet I'm scared. But in a situation like this, everybody has to work together. And as long as I had any willpower left in me, I wasn't about to give up. Plus, it didn't hurt that Yuya was with me, so I knew everything was going to turn out just fine. Well, maybe. Okay, so where do we where do you go? Oh, downstairs obviously. What were we do doing again? I oh my god. I forgot. I think we might need to just go downstairs and try the exit. Oh no. Oh what? Large hole in the floor, okay. Got blocked. Two A, what have you got for me? I uh, don't don't do that jump scare thing again. Please don't do that jump scare thing again. Fingernails, great. Letters scratched into the. Okay, do not trust them. They'll betray you. The one who volunteered to go will betray you most severely. Toko is gonna betray everyone. What? The cabinet is locked, numerous thick books, the truth of ties, and are adorable enough to kill you. Where in the world could that last one possibly be about? Oh, you know, you know how like, you wanna bite people that 
looks cute. I don't know if that. Oh, I don't know. Sometimes like, oh, like cute enough to eat. I think that's this phrase that says that. And you know, eating someone is basically the same as killing them. And no, but what's Torkel gonna do? Wait, darkening meter. Wait, 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 wait. Eight percent. Oh my god. I wonder if the darkening meter is gonna like influence anything. Well, it did. The first chapter we needed to get darkening up to forty, if I remember. And we also needed to get Shia's darkening up to forty before we could um progress anything. I think. So um, yeah. Hopefully that's not gonna give us any bad ends. I don't know. This door seems like it might just be openable. <laughs> it's a bunch of dishes. They must have been propped against the door. There are wet, bloody prints all over them. It's a little disturbing. Okay, the music stopped. Closed up tight door. Lab. Anatomical model, are you gonna- nope. I'm glad that's locked. I'm glad that's not locked. What about the nurse room? Infirmary. Oh. The word infirmary was written... Uh, there we go. Yeah, on the plate above the door. Somehow the room just felt like it would be deserted. I was hardly confident about that. Not sure why I felt that way, to be honest, but for good measure I shouted, Is anybody in there? We still hadn't found Mitsuki after all. I didn't hear her call back though, so really we had no business in this room whatsoever. Wait, was that a key sticking out of the lock? Who would have locked the door but left the key? What would be the point? To make you progress in the story from a meta point of view. Um but obviously you won't you you wouldn't know that. うん。何してんの扉に鍵刺さってるぜ。うん。何してんの we're not gonna find another match with that. Yeah, you could take someone's eye out with a key. Actually, yeah, you can. Kinda. Okay, no, you'd rather not. I would rather use that key for bear trap testing. Because it probably won't get stuck in there. So you just drop it onto onto the bear trap and then it just snaps up snaps up and then you can just like reach underneath to take the to, to take the key back out. Pain in the ass with a capital A and capital everything else. Shimano was such a pain in the ass I really couldn't stand the guy. Okay, oh Okay. <laughs> Still tossing it around, wow. Do you get it stuck? You got it stuck in the ceiling. I thought you would be able to catch that. God damn it. And now the infirmary was cut off from us if we needed it. Brilliant. I mean, we could go upstairs again and get it, maybe. We're gonna need that key, aren't we? Uh, look for the texture um, before you decide anything. Um, it could be that, you know, you're kind of screwed and um, it's just painted on. I rushed over to the door, hopeful yet afraid, knowing it might not open, but praying this horrid place will show us at least a little mercy. Prayers are dead. Gently, I raised my hand and pushed on it, and it swung open without even the slightest hesitation. It seemed almost too easy. Really? No, if you go outside, you're gonna get lost and you're gonna die or something. 
It was unnaturally dark outside though, and the rain was coming down so hard that peeking my head out for just a moment left my uniform completely soaked. Wow. Shimada pushed past me, throwing the door open even wider with his usual lack of regard for anyone and anything around him. My clothes went from soaked to drenched in a matter of seconds. If I were to actually walk out into it, I felt like I'd drown. Probably. It kind of reminds me of the um the three E's classroom in um Anzaskyoshitsu or something, like just just a room like a school building surrounded by forests and hills and whatever. Soria, mite mite na. Wow. Wait, what? What? Despite our having found a way out, Yuya's demeanor hadn't changed a bit. She was standing back by the hall where he could watch over us, while also keeping an eye out for anyone else who might happen by, with the model of maturity. Shimada, on the other hand, CG. Oh. You're gonna get lost and die. こんなわけわかんねえところ。とっとと出るに限るぜ。片山のところになんか戻らねえよ。than uh, Fukurai and Mitsuki because uh, I don't think um, Fukurai was there either so how do you get split up then is it the ghost's will that splits you up or is it just completely random the tone in his voice said it all. He hit the ultimate low. After abandoning his friends to save his own hide, he was now basically propositioning me. With an obviously rehearsed and truly sickening pickup line. Wait, what? Oh, Kurosaki is that guy. This is um, Kirisaki Toko. Okay. Yeah, I get it. He really was the slime ball to end all slime balls. I couldn't believe he had the nerve to pull something like this. I felt that, uh, I felt like that may have been the first time I'd ever truly yelled at someone. I was absolutely livid. And he wasn't even done. No, he's had plenty of salt left to throw in the wound. <laughs> Okay, you can just go out and die now. Um, I, I, I really don't care about you anymore. Okay. My head was swimming. I was scared. I was angry. I was sad. Every negative emotion brought to the forefront and every positive emotion pushed away. I didn't look back, I just turned away from Shimada, walked over to Yuya's side and continued past him into the hallway. Yuya had been watching all of this unfold from the other side of the room, and for a moment he just stood there, staring blankly at Shimada. Shimada then drew a very large knife from his breast pocket, its tip struggled to glisten in the dull light of the room, but it did ultimately succeed. No. I must reflect photons from the environment. Give me a photon. Psh, yay. He began waving it around like a dumbass, probably thinking it made him look more menacing. Ah. <laughs> hmm? Is that where he ultimately gets the knife then?
どんだけ女の子バカにしてんのマジ許せない I was indignant. I was fuming. I just kept cursing and mumbling as I fast walked back to the third floor to meet up with the others. And all the while, Yuya was keeping pace with me, saying nothing at all. Always the model of maturity, always even tempered. He really was like a rock. Or maybe. Maybe he found my mutterings annoying and was just keeping quiet, so I did the same. I didn't like that possibility one bit, so I mentally snap. Uh, slapped myself on the cheek, forced positivity in my voice, and tried to engage him in cheery banter. Okay. Yuya, その点誠実だよね。女の子を傷つけたこと一回もないでしょ。Oh, I don't know. He's a siskon, and he's a bit of a weirdo, and he almost killed Yuka. To be honest, well, no, he can't say that Tokos. His、uh, sister. So maybe he's just like that to younger girls. I don't know. Oh my god, he'll be a nice pedophile when he grows up. Chow, I'm not even sure. 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 Was he not used to receiving compliments from women? That seemed hard to believe. <laughs> What a cute, innocent response. Ah, I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I must have come across this bipolar term or something. One second I tried to lighten the mood with small talk or compliments, and then I start to feel scared of this school again, or angry at Shimada. Or sad for Kadayama. My mind just couldn't make up its mind what to feel. Oh. Oh. I just woke up a couple of days ago. Misu's voice echoed up from below, but our friends were. Waiting for us above. For a moment, I wasn't sure which direction to go, but only for a moment. The fact is, our friends were very, very close, so close that it would be foolish not to tell them what was going on before chasing after Mitsuki. Let's go. Emi and Katayama, let's go. Everyone, let's go down. Mhm. Yuya just nodded and began running up the stairs, and I was right behind him. Okay, back here, and what's going to happen? You're gonna get there. Maybe there's gonna be an earthquake.、Uh, Misuki might be separated from you forever, and of course, the exit is gonna be sealed. I was out of breath, staring down at the ground and talking to what I assumed would be three very attentive friends. But then I looked up. They were. Oh, they were all there, but there was no immediacy, no urgency on on anyone's face. Emi and Okawa weren't even looking at me, nor at Yuya, but at Karayama. They were fixated on his face, and each bore a sad, hopeless, empty expression. And they suddenly weren't about to get moving. There was a general heaviness in the air. Something was very wrong. Oh, did he die? Oh God, he died. I gently reached out my hand and touched Emi's shoulder. Emmy's、uh, eyes were filled with tears. Okawa too was crying in Kadayama's head, and looked like he'd been crying this whole time. His eyes were bright red, and his nose was running. Yuya, still saying nothing, just walked over to, Kata, to、um, Kadayama's side, bent down, and began examining his wound. Yuya, go. The four of us silently but unanimously agreed that our best course of action was to pick up Kadayama and bring him out through the exit we discovered. 
and we had to be very very quick about it or he really would die. I could tell just by looking at him that his time was almost up. Why don't you like tie a blazer around his stump or something, to at least to stop the blood loss or something, pressure on the wound and all that, you know, to, to, to like seal the capillaries shut and stuff so blood can clot and fix the capillaries or something. And that's it. As this was all going on, I heard that nagging feeling. Oh, I had that nagging feeling like I was forgetting something. Oh, Miski? Yep. We had to go find her. We couldn't just leave her behind after all. He didn't even have to say anything this time. His eyes told the whole story. Got it. I know I can trust you with this task, they said. And that was enough for me. I shot off down the hall like a bullet. I was determined to find Mitsuki and rejoin everyone en route. I hurried down to the second floor, but Mitsuki's voice was coming from even further down. I'd have to keep going to the first floor ahead of the others. Um, so you just go all the way down, right? But which side? Does it even matter what side? Maybe if we went down the left side, we would have gotten a bit more ex um, exploration. Explora exploration. Explorusus. Explorusus. Explorusus monkey. Bludga super. Um, I'm just gonna keep wandering and hopefully it's gonna hit something in one of these two. Maybe. Wait, Miski's in the second wing, so I think that's where she was. Let's see. Uh, okay, that's blocked off. Let's try fighting A. There we go, it meant. みつきの声が聞こえた場所から考えると、これ以上先だと聞こえないよね。いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、い
Nope. Hmm. What about the exit? Um, something's meant to show up, apparently. <laughs> oh, what? Oh god, I didn't save. What just happened? Oh, did I just load something? Oh my god, I just loaded something else. Okay, we're back. I accidentally loaded um, a save from chapter 6, so that was a bit weird. But let's save it now, and I think I know where to go. So we're back on the second floor, and we have to basically head back. And we are going to run into a scary little thing. That should be a uh, real. <laughs> okay, um, obviously, uh, I can't look him in the eye, but I'm gonna save and I'm gonna do exactly that and I'm gonna see if there's a bad end. And then I'm gonna end the episode because it's coming up to uh, an hour. And then I need to get water because, um, yeah. So let's go. It appears to be the ghost of a young boy. God, what now? With the ghost sitting right at the foot of the stairs, how else am I supposed to get back up to the third floor? <sighs> Let's go ahead and get this bad end. Of course. It's funny. It's funny. It's funny. It's so funny. It's so funny. Mm -hmm. Wrong in one. Okay. Um. Uh, we may have needed that wrong end. Right. So I'm gonna pause the episode here. I'm gonna keep on recording. Uh. I'm gonna find out how to get past that super ghost in the next episode. Maybe um, finish the chapter because I don't think this chapter's that long. So thanks very much for watching. If you have any feedback or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next episode of whatever I end up recording. Then, bye.